What is going on guys? Welcome to FTV Family Time Vlogs Review. Get your popcorn buckets ready because we got another blockbuster coming out. Fast. Fast 10. I haven't seen it yet. If you're wondering how I have the popcorn bucket is because these popcorn buckets sell out so fast now. You have to buy them before the movie comes out, the week before, in order to secure one. So I did. Anyways, Fast and Furious. I broke my number one cardinal rule, which is do not get excited for a blockbuster movie. But I am above the moon excited for Fast 10. Here we go. For those of you who do not know, I am a huge Fast and Furious fan. I went and saw Fast and Furious, the first one, opening weekend with my wife, mom, and I remember walking out of that theater and saying, I can see this series going on forever. And here we are, years later, forever has passed, and we still have Fast and Furious is coming out. Almost everyone is good. I even liked when they made the jump from realism to superhero, kind of. I didn't mind it. Except Tokyo Drift. Was that even a real Fast and Furious movie? Come on. Anyways, the last movie, Nine. <sighs> I didn't like, I was not a fan of. So they have some big shoes to fill to make this the movie it needs to be. And I got a list. First off, top of the list, story. The other one lacked a story. This one needs to have a good story, not just a shoved together story. And now I heard the director walked away at one point, so it might, I don't know how it's gonna work, but we need a good story this time, number one. Second. It needs to be fun. It needs to be fun again. They just can't mash in all these little action tidbits here and there and expect it to be good. It needs to be fun. Third, it needs to be funny. The comedic relief has to be there. They usually don't have a problem with this, but it's gotta stay consistent. Fourth, we have some of the biggest blockbuster names on one film coming up. It needs to be superb acting. The acting has to be Phenomenal. Edge of your seat acting. Last but not least, speaking of acting, a villain. Jason Momoa. Boy, you got some big shoes you need to fill. This guy, he his persona is almost bigger than life. This is a perfect role for him. He needs to take charge of this and be an epic villain because we need a good villain, especially if they're planning on making this a three part finale. If all those boxes get checked, we got a good movie. We got a good story that's fun, funny, great acting, and an amazing villain. What could you ask for more? I hope it is that. We're gonna go tonight and we're gonna talk about it in a little bit. First, let's get to the theater. Let's go. Excited? Yeah. You think it's gonna be good? Hopefully. Guys, we are back. We saw Fast. Um, the popcorn bucket at AMC is a little different. This is from Sinmark that we got. I kind of like this one better. The one from AMC was just um, Don Toretto's charger car, but I like the cup that they give you at uh, the AMC. Anyways, let's get to my boxes. Did all my boxes get checked? Let's go. Story. Fantastic, phenomenal story. If you've been a Fast fan for a while now, you are really gonna enjoy this story. They, they, they tied up a lot of things. They really brought in the characters from every movie prior and tangled it within this movie. Fantastic job. Story's great. Fun, it had to be fun. It was good fun to watch. If you like over the top superhero kind of action meets the car adrenaline rush, this is fun. There's only two parts in the movie where I cringe that I'm like, this is unrealistic. Don't get me wrong, most of the action that occurs is over the top and unrealistic, but there was two things that really had me like, no. Other than that, this was good fun. Third, it needs to be funny. It was funny. There were some parts where I'm like, maybe I shouldn't be laughing here, but I did. I thought maybe it could have been a little bit more funny, but it was just funny enough. Fourth, good acting. Wow, everybody did their job. They were all spot on. The acting, nothing took away from the movie at all. The acting actually elevated it. The acting was superb. If I kind of get 
picky. Vin Diesel, I've seen you do a lot better in the franchise. This one, it was just kind of, let's look mad and grunt. Could have been a little bit better. Although the role was spot on. Last but not least, number five, villain. Jason Momoa. Jason, 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 Jason Momoa. Jason, what did you do? Wow, a lot of people are saying he's the new Joker. The, whatever it is, he did fantastic. This is the villain you need. This is the villain this franchise needed. We finally have a solid vi villain. Jason Momoa, your acting skills precede yourself. You are amazing. This was gold. We needed this. This is the villain that can take this franchise from a one part to a three part. All my boxes were checked. I'm very happy. I give it a solid nine. I recommend you watching it. If you're wondering where the popcorn bucket sits amongst all the other ones, it's staying in third place as our favorite film of the past year. Number one is going to go to Guardians of the Galaxy. It was just phenomenal. They did an excellent job at that movie, hands down. Great. Second is going to go to Avatar, one of the most beautiful movies we've ever seen. Third, we're going to put Fast. Fourth, Top Gun. And then last but not least, Creed 3. Don't get me wrong, none of these films were bad by any means. These were all top movies that we enjoyed. It's just, we like some better than others. Creed 3 is at the bottom because it's a little bit predictable. Top Gun sits behind fast because there's a couple flaws in the storyline that we didn't enjoy. Fast was just good old fashioned superhero fun to watch. Avatar, number two, one of the most beautiful movies we've ever seen. And then Guardians of the Galaxy, top dog. It's just phenomenal. If you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy, I really recommend this. But as far as Fast goes, if you haven't seen Fast, you want this bucket, go to Sinmark. AMC has the car. I highly recommend this film. You will not be disappointed, especially if you've been watching this franchise for a long time. Excellent film. Definitely a nine. I would go see it. I... I I want to see it again. One other thing is we did watch this in Prime. If you do have a Prime AMC near you, I would definitely splurge and go see it in Prime. Prime has the better screen, the better sound quality, and every seat has its own like subwoofer kind of shaker, so it shakes. This movie, we watch a lot of movies in Prime. Not every movie utilizes a Prime theater to the best of its ability this movie actually does so i would definitely go see it in prime if you can hands down a fantastic movie all right guys that is it we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching peace and enjoy